straight. And finally, one day I walked in and I looked and it was crooked and I looked back and the girls were just giggling, uh, just giggling. And I'm like, hey, I said, did you do that? And she said, I've been doing it every day for oh six months God, just so to see funny. if you do it. Oh my God. I'm like, are you kidding me? So that is how, <laughs> how much deep down inside cellularly fiber wise I am a chiropractor that is through funny and through I cannot stand misalignment I cannot stand things that are asymmetrical I need Her. symmetry <laughs> that's funny it is. I, I unlike you have no need for symmetry I do not like pictures to be crooked though mm-hmm I do not like that. But you could do like the grouping that yes. is asymmetrical and yes. be good with that. Yes. I usually can deal with that. As long as they're not, you know, as long as somebody laser lined them up. Right. I'm okay. But yeah, Too they're funny. like haphazard, like stuck on the wall. I can't even be in your house. I, I have to leave. We're going to have <laughs> to, when you first come into my house, there's a wall like that. We're going to have to see how you do. Oh my ah, goodness. She'll turn and run. <laughs> Ah, I'm bringing my laser, my laser leveler with me. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Yeah. So we covered a lot of ground today. We did. Don't don't internalize. Exactly. Big thing. Don't internalize. Don't let yourself continue to harbor negativity in your body because it will become physical. It will eventually become physical. People who are nervous a lot, high anxiety, have heart trouble generally, or stomach problems, mm -hmm. ulcers. Um, and you can tell typical. those people they have to be moving. Oh yeah, they have to be moving driver all the personalities. Time. Right, right, right. So uh, let your fever go, let but don't let go. it get out of hand. Yeah, do some research. Know what you're dealing with. Don't just go by. Uh... My goodness, I kind of like that song. Don't just go by uh, what your mom taught you. You know, because with my mom. You know, it's like every morning I'd go to school just in case. Let's take a Tylenol, oh. like just in case you have a headache or just in case, you know, she didn't know any better. It was preventative Tylenol. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would go in there. I'd get my Freddie Flintstone in one hand, my Tylenol in the other. And, and I'm like, why am I taking this again? Well, I don't want to have to come pick you up for a headache. <laughs> Remember, I said I was the baby. So right. I, you know. She was over it. Your Fred Flintstone. Yeah, my Fred Flintstone. Those were delicious. They were. they were delicious. They were. My kids had them, but I used to eat them every now and then. <laughs> I did. They were delicious. Oh, that brings up one more thing. What? Supplements can be delicious. They still can be dangerous. Please don't eat the whole jar of gummy gummy vitamins. You but know? they are very good. Yeah, but you got to keep those away from babies because they don't right. know. They don't right. know any better. And it's gummies. And they're like, That's right. but I wanted the gummies. You know, you come home, That's you got this dangerous. five pound jar of, you know, gummy vitamin D and it's all gone and the baby's sitting there. Yeah. Not good. So be careful yeah. with that. Don't wash your hands with anything but water. <laughs> no, I don't think that was the no, synopsis. But, I'm, I'm exaggerating. But we definitely need to use soap and water as much as possible. If you've got a choice, use the water. The water will help clean it better. Right. So don't spend a lot of money on those on those um, anti antibacterial soaps. Absolutely, because you're just killing off the the easy peasies, and yeah. you're letting the big ones get away and multiply and proliferate and cause more trouble. There you go. Come and get a chiropractic checkup either semi-annually or quarterly. Absolutely. We all need that. We need to be straightened up. Straighten up. And what we else? Um, Hang all your pictures randomly on the wall and then call Julia to come look at them. No, I just. So thank you. Thank you so much. Lots of information today. Super fun again. We always <laughs> have fun, don't we, do? Yes, yes, we do. So now you have to help me in my, I have to tell you one more thing. Sure. So, you know, I've had that fever in my brain just, I can't get it back. It's bad. But uh, while I was sick, I went, went into Lysol stuff because I, I don't want my husband to get this. Mm -hmm. And um, so I got the Lysol. I stood, still had a fever. I got the Lysol out and I was trying to spend most of my time in the bedroom. The bad part was I was sick and I couldn't read because I had that fever. My eyes kept watering. That was very angering. But anyway, yeah. I got the Lysol out, and I sprayed, and my husband came home, and he goes, oh, oh. what would you spray? It smells good in here. And I said, Lysol. And 
I had set it down. It was freaking oven cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> that's how sick I was. Is that horrible? I just wonder if that's not why your brain's loopy now. Yeah, Were you breathing I that didn't. In? I didn't. <laughs> no, not that much. I didn't spray that much. All right. Isn't but I have terrible? used Preparation H almost as toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> almost. So see, you see where I'm coming so, from. So the bottom line is wear your glasses. Yes. <laughs> Wear your glasses and read before you spray right. or use put it on your toothbrush. Right. And I just want to say there are natural alternatives to that, too. Um, Shackley has a lot of good products that are biodegradable, natural alternatives for Lysol and disinfecting. Um, and usually I will use my tea tree oil in my spray yeah, bottle. Yeah, and thieves. People use thieves quite a bit and thieves oil. And I'm not an oil person, but there are a lot of oil people out there, and they can tell you what to use for disinfecting and and all of that so very good so i did end up wiping everything down with a disinfectant oil to get good the, because yeah. oven cleaner doesn't work it doesn't it <laughs> really doesn't <laughs> God. so um we'll be back again the first week in april uh second second tuesday I believe. Oh, second. second I'm sorry. Tuesday. So we do have an oil show on the first week. The weeks that we're not on, yeah. There's. It's called um, about those oils. Yes. Yeah, so you can learn more about mm-hmm. the oils. So right. every Tuesday, first and third Tuesday at noon, you'll learn about oils, and yes. then every second and fourth Tuesday, you'll learn about natural health. Right. So that's so. that's good. So thanks, Julia. Thank you, Deb. Anything you want to say as we sign off? I want to say bye to everybody who's been watching. Thank you so much. And leave comments and let me know if there's any questions you have. And we'll try to get to them next time. Very good. All right. We'll see you in two, three weeks. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Okay. Bye. I'll see you before that. (laughs) Bye. This is the passionate pundits tuning out hey and we still haven't heard from anybody about the definition of the word pundit so anyone the present present is still here anyone (laughs) anyone (laughs) it's a good name figure it out what does it mean this has been the passionate pundits with your host holistic chiropractor dr julia deer and nutritional consultant deb saint hilaire Dr. Julia is available for consultations with new patients in her Bay City Pigeon and Bad Axe offices six days a week. Call 989-453-2020 to set up your appointment or on her Facebook group page, Bay City Alternative Holistic Healthcare Community. Deb St. Hilaire can be reached for consultations at skiesthelimitcoaching.com or on Facebook at Sky's the Limit Coaching. Tune in every second and fourth Tuesday at noon to find out more ways to make your life healthier naturally. Naturally. Listen to archive shows at W4Divas.com or Speaker.com. Till next time, thanks for tuning in.